10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It finally happened. After weeks and months filled with constant delays, the moment we've been eagerly awaiting finally arrived. The journey to this point was a roller coaster of emotions, marked by moments of heightened excitement as we caught glimpses of hope from regulatory bodies, only to feel disappointed with each announcement of another postponed launch date or window. But then, the breakthrough we'd been longing for took place. And it was a spectacle unlike anything we've ever witnessed before. Everything was proceeding smoothly, with a palpable sense of excitement in the air. However, just as the countdown approached T-37 seconds before liftoff, a small anomaly brought the proceedings to a sudden halt. The team worked swiftly to resolve the issue. Thankfully, the problem was addressed quickly, and the countdown resumed. As the final countdown approached, the excitement was tangible. Moments before liftoff, the water deluge system kicked in, sending a vast amount of water across the launch pad. This was a practical measure, clearly visible from a distance, and it was crucial for protecting the launch pad from the kind of damage it sustained during the first launch six months ago. Then, the engines ignited and the rocket successfully lifted off the launch pad. This launch was as thrilling as the first one on April 20th, if not more so considering the challenges that had been overcome since then. All 33 engines operated perfectly, a significant improvement over the first flight. The rocket continued its ascent, and all eyes were on one of the most critical and anticipated aspects of the flight, the stage separation. This part was particularly crucial due to the newly installed hot staging system. To the amazement and delight of everyone, the system performed incredibly well, marking a significant milestone in the mission. However, shortly after the stage separation, an unexpected event unfolded. The booster, flipping down for re-entry, exploded in a dramatic turn of events. This explosion wasn't an accident, but a controlled detonation orchestrated by SpaceX. It was a clear indication that there had been a significant issue with the booster, necessitating its immediate and deliberate destruction to prevent any further complications. The necessity for such a drastic measure points to the inherent risks and challenges involved in such complex space missions. Fortunately, the explosion occurred after the separation, ensuring that the upper stage starship was completely unaffected by this event and continued on its intended path. This outcome was a marked improvement over the first launch of the Starship, which also ended in an explosion, but under different circumstances. During that initial launch, the rocket began to stumble and encountered difficulties that made the stage separation impossible. As a result, the team was forced to detonate the booster to mitigate any further risks. In contrast, during this latest mission, although the booster was ultimately destroyed, the stage separation itself was successfully executed, Another success was recorded when all six engines of the Starship were lit without any anomalies. Interestingly, SpaceX's goal for this mission wasn't to reach full orbit but to conduct a suborbital flight. This strategy was chosen to gather extensive data with less effort, crucial for understanding how the vehicle would perform during an actual full orbital flight. However, a few minutes into its journey, the Starship also encountered challenges. The specifics of these issues were not immediately clear but the consequence was significant. Loss of all data from the second stage. This unexpected turn of events meant that the planned splashdown of the Starship was unlikely to happen as intended. Following the successful integrated flight test, SpaceX immediately took to Twitter to commend their team's efforts. Congratulations to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting second integrated flight test of Starship. Musk also joined in the congratulations, saying, congratulations team. Additionally, the NASA administrator also wrote their own congratulatory message, tweeting, Congrats to the teams who made progress on today's flight test. It's important to note that today's launch wasn't originally scheduled for this date. The initial plan was for SpaceX's Starship to embark on its journey on a Friday morning. However, as often happens in the complex world of space exploration, 
things didn't proceed exactly as planned. A minor, yet crucial issue arose. A component of the rocket required replacement. This particular component was an actuator in one of the booster grid fins. These fins are critical to the rocket's operation. Resembling metal grids or lattices, they play a vital role in controlling the rocket's descent back to Earth, ensuring it can return safely and accurately. Musk was proactive in keeping the public informed about the developments. He took to Twitter to update everyone. The day before the originally scheduled launch, he posted a tweet explaining the situation. We need to replace a grid fin actuator, so launch is postponed to Saturday. Interestingly, NASA has been closely monitoring this launch, and for good reason. The success and progress of SpaceX's Starship are pivotal for NASA, particularly for its Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the Moon and eventually to Mars. SpaceX's Starship has been selected by NASA as the lunar lander for the Artemis missions. This means that NASA is relying on the Starship to safely transport astronauts from lunar orbit to the Moon's surface and back. The development and testing of the Starship directly impact NASA's timelines and goals for the Artemis program. Successful tests of the Starship, including launches, landings, and in-space operations, provide NASA with confidence in the vehicle's reliability for future manned missions. Just minutes before the launch, SpaceX had tweeted, while it's not happening in a lab or on a test stand, this is absolutely a test. What we're doing today will provide invaluable data to continue rapid development of Starship. This tweet highlighted that the mission was expected to provide crucial data for future improvements, despite not being in a controlled lab environment. Following this, SpaceX had also tweeted about their development approach. This rapid, iterative development approach has been the basis for all of SpaceX's major innovative advancements, including Falcon, Dragon, and Starlink. Despite these challenges, the mission provided SpaceX with invaluable insights. The successful launch and stage separation, along with the effective functioning of the hot staging system, were significant achievements. The anomalies encountered, while unfortunate, are an integral part of the iterative testing and development process that SpaceX embraces. Each challenge presents an opportunity to learn and improve, bringing SpaceX one step closer to their goal of reliable and efficient space travel. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.